principal now for 10 years. I've been in Central for 30. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just a, the timing is right. He will be sorely missed. And there are ginormous shoes to fill for whomever comes next. And, and I remember him saying this in a faculty meeting one time. He said that his job as a leader is to make new leaders. And nothing makes him prouder than seeing his staff strive for leadership and strive to make themselves better. We have five, five admin interns this year that weren't in administration prior, and we are all aspiring leaders under his wing. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and get you some donuts on your way out. Thanks. My goal was to be a head coach, and I was on that path. And then after my first deployment to Iraq as a battalion commander, I kind of saw a bigger picture. And I came back and you know thought that instead of influencing the lives of 100 football players, why not influence the lives of 2,000 students? He really tries to drive home uh, togetherness. Um, you know, the sense of family, things like that. Um, he's, he wants the school to be one force. He wants the community to all come together. Me and my wife were having a conversation and then she was like, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? And I said, well, if, if I don't, who will? And uh, that's kind of been my mantra to ROTC programs when I talk to those young students about going into the military. If you don't serve, who will? And uh, that's, that's what kept, has kept me going this long. I do plan to stay in the, in the National Guard and the military after I get back from the deployment and see where that road takes me. Um, I, I still I, I enjoy that part of it. I enjoy the military. I, I think it's, uh, it's a... It's a great career that's very fulfilling to be able to serve your country.